How do volcanic eruptions affect society? Good morning, scientists! Let's get to know your teachers on air for today's session in Grade 9 Science class. I am Teacher Claudine. And I am Teacher Annabelle. Are you ready to learn and explore how volcanic eruptions affect society? That's great! Our lesson for today is all about how volcanic eruptions affect society and how we could prepare ourselves and community in times of natural disasters, in which we will be able to value awareness and preparedness in times of volcanic eruption and also appreciate the positive effects of it in the society. Today's session, we will focus first on commonly observed signs that a volcano is about to erupt. Second, understand that volcanic eruption also have positive effects on people and the community. And lastly, appreciate awareness and preparedness programs organized by the government to reduce negative effects of disasters caused by volcanic eruption. To fully understand our topic, lend me your ears, prepare your paper and pen for note-taking, and pay attention as you are going to listen to a story of Claire, a young girl who really loves volunteer works to help her community. It is entitled Claire the Great, a story written by Claribel Magalhães. Claire is a very helpful daughter whom at a young age wanted to render volunteer work in their community. She is the youngest volunteer in their team in BDRRMO or Barangay Disaster Risk Reduction Management Organization. Both of her parents are volcanologists. One day, Claire is watching a video uploaded in YouTube about the news about a volcanic eruption in Taan. Nine. How can we know that the volcano is about to erupt? Well, according to the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology or FIVOX, the government agency tasked with monitoring earthquakes and volcanoes in the country. We commonly observe signs that a volcano is about to erupt are the following. First, increase in the frequency of volcanic quakes with rumbling sounds, occurrence of volcanic tremors. Second, Increased steaming activity, change in color of steam emission from white to gray due to entrained ash. Third, greater glow due to presence of magma at or near the crater. Fourth, ground swells or inflation, ground tilt and ground fissuring due to magma intrusion. Fifth, localized landslides, rock falls and landslides from the summit area which not attributable to heavy rains. Sixth, noticeable increase in the extent of drying up of vegetation around the volcano's upper slopes. Seventh, increase in the temperature of hot springs, wells, examples we have Bulusan and Kenlaon, and Greater Lake like Taal near the volcano. Eighth, noticeable variation in the chemical content of springs. Crater lakes within the vicinity of volcano. Ninth, drying up of springs, wells around the volcano, and lastly, development of new thermal areas and or reactivation of old ones, and appearance events that yields sulfurous gases. I have jotted down nine since I am thinking of sharing it to our community, since we also have a volcano here within the province. Do you think it might help? Of course, Claire. And that is an amazing idea. Me and your tatai will help you with that. Just tell us what you need. Thank you so much, Nai and Tai. I just realized how vital VBOX in our society and in our country. What are the signs that a volcano is about to erupt as mentioned in the story? Where do we usually observe it? You're right! These signs are very vital in communicating to people for their safety before eruption would happen. Let's continue our story. So, Tai, aside from responding to emergencies and flooding in our area, our BTRRMO could also help awareness and preparedness program 
about the active volcano that may erupt anytime here in our province. Yes, Claire, that's correct. I am planning to talk to our barangay captain and rescue chairman about organizing a symposium to adolescents like me in our barangay on how we could help in information dissemination about volcanic eruption and how we could avoid losing lives and further damages. That's great, enough. We are here to support you and we are so proud of you. Thank you po, nanay and tatay. I am just wondering if volcanic eruption has also positive impact on us since the news I've watched was so heart-wrenching. Claire, volcanoes also affect people positively. For example, the eruption of Pinatubo volcano has created spectacular scenery in its wake. Likewise, the eruption of Musuan volcano in Bukidnon has produced very rich soils for farming years after its eruption in 1867. People became creative also by making earthenware out of the ash pole from the Pinatubo volcano eruption. But despite the advantages that people get from volcanic eruption, the major concern now is how to reduce the negative effects of disasters to reduce loss and save lives. Okay, Tatay. That is why I have already decided to implement my plan. I just hope I could get a positive response from our barangay. If you are a player, would you do the same thing? Wow! If that happens, we can all have a safe and harmonious community. Let's continue our story. Just tell us what you need, Claire, so that we can help you. If ever you will need a resource speaker, I volunteer to do it. Yes, thank you so much, Nanay and Tatay. That is why it is very important to identify commonly observed signs that a volcano is about to erupt so that we could prepare ahead of time and evacuate as soon as possible. We could not also deny that this phenomenon also have positive effect on people and the society. And lastly, being aware and prepared at all times is our edge in overcoming whatever difficulties we will be facing. Tandaan, mas lamang ang may alam. Indeed! Claire is certified the great in their barangay because she has a big heart for her fellows and her community. Have you learned something from Claire's greatness? Yes. Then I have a question. Can you identify commonly observed signs that a volcano is about to erupt? Good. These are the signs that a volcano is going to erupt. First, increase in the frequency of volcanic quakes with rumbling sounds, currents of volcanic tremors. Second, increase steaming activity, change in color of steam emission from white to gray due to entrained ash. Third, crater glow due to presence of magma at or near the crater. Fourth, ground swells or inflation, ground tilt, and ground fissuring due to magma intrusion. If localized landslides, rock falls, and landslides from the summit area which not attributed to heavy rains. Sixth, noticeable increase in the extent of drying up of vegetation around the volcano's upper slopes. Seventh, increase in the temperature of hot springs, wells like Bulusan and Canlaon, and crater lake like Paal near the volcano. Eighth, Noticeable variation in the chemical content of springs and crater lakes within the vicinity of volcano. 9. Drying up of springs or wells around the volcano. And lastly, the development of new thermal areas and or reactivation of old ones and the appearance of vents that yield sulfurous gases. Indeed! And aside from PIVOX, we have national and local organizations such as the DRRM that aims to reduce, if not totally eradicate, the negative impact of volcanic eruption. What are the things that you need to remember? That's right! You need to remember that eruption has also given us positive effects. We just have to be ready when this happens to protect our lives and our loved ones. These are all natural disasters that helps our lives and our planet go round. We cannot prevent it to happen, but we can always be prepared and be aware what to do during these times. 
So now, can you write it down in your notes and have a brief explanation why it is important to know the signs that a volcano is about to erupt? How would you give your appreciation to government agencies and local organization in keeping our community safe? So, listeners, if you are able to identify the signs before a volcanic eruption occurs, appreciate how important government agencies are and how our national and local organizations such as the DRRM play a vital role for keeping our community safe you did a great job, citizen! Congratulations! You learned something from today's session. See you next time! And again, we are your teachers on air, Teacher Annabelle and Teacher Claudine. We are saying goodbye and, and have, have a fantastic day ahead! <laughs>